hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing well let's just start by saying please ignore the state of me and my voice i'm starting to get ill and i'm not enjoying it but just thought i'd address that quickly <laughs> So today's, well it's not really today's video, it's I guess this week's video but like it's going to be quite a long process because as you would have seen by the title it's going to be my room makeover video. So if I'm honest there's not really a reason for me to be doing this, there's there's absolutely no reason. Today's, I keep saying, I'm going to keep saying today, but basically today I'm just going to show you like my room as it is now and then I don't know if it'll be one video or if it'll be like quite a few different videos um i don't know how long it's gonna get it also depends how long it's gonna take me to even do the makeover so i'm gonna basically show you my room now give you a little i'll explain everything and it say like what i'm gonna change and then hopefully you'll be able to see the vision just like a little bit and if not that's fine because you'll see it at the end anyway um so yeah let's get started okay so we're gonna start at my door and disclaimer i could lit oh that's the train I could literally give you like the room tour literally just like the room tours over like i do have a very small room however i do feel like i've managed to maximize the amount of storage and like space that i have where should i start let's start with this wall i guess so this wall here um this is kind of like what i updated in lockdown to be honest like i got all of these prints printed and then i ordered loads of frames from ikea i did it like a really cheap um way of doing it so yeah i have this app that basically you get like i don't know how many it is i think it's like 40 to 50 honestly i've not used it in so long but you get like a certain amount of prints every month for free you still have to pay for like postage but it's like it works out like four pounds which is so much cheaper than going to like i don't even know where you get pictures printed from now snap snaps boots like are, are they still a thing are they actually still a thing but yeah, there's this app and you can just print as many, you can print more than like 40 or 50, but like you then have to pay extra for those prints. So yeah, basically I screenshotted all these um, pictures. So yeah, I screenshotted all these pictures and then I just bought cheap frames from Ikea because I was like, there's no point spending literally like 50 quid. Um, and then I've got like my favourite perfumes in here. Then this, I didn't know what to do with this. And then I just had that Meg. So I just thought, let's just stick it in the middle. And then these are like literally the perfumes that I've not used since like year seven. But I didn't have anything else to put in there. And I didn't want to chuck them out just yet. Sometimes I do still use them. So this sort of looks nice with perfumes like either side. I feel like I'm not very good at filming this, but YOLO. And then this section is going to change. I was going to say dramatically, but it's not like dramatic. It's just I'm basically... It's going to be kind of hard to explain, but I'm going to get rid of these um, shelves. I don't know how... Oh, I set a candle off once and it started to burn, but that's okay. Um, so just ignore that black bit. But basically, it shouldn't matter because I'm going to move this massive... Um, what's it called? Unit? Drawers? I'm going to move these drawers um, here. I don't... Why do I have a hula hoop? I don't know that's that's ruining the aesthetic right there but yeah i'm moving those drawers here getting rid of these two shelving units which is kind of sad because i've literally had these since i was redecorated my room when i was literally like i want to say like in year six like i've had these set of drawers and this wardrobe i think so yeah it's gonna be quite sad to get rid of them but if anybody wants you know some nice some nice drawers i've taken care of them hit me up send me a dm on instagram <laughs> I'll give you a I'll give you a discount if you say you came from my from my YouTube. So yeah, I'm gonna move these here and then I'm gonna get another set of these drawers and move it here because obviously I still need like all of this store like I literally can't get rid of all of this storage and not have anything else. So yeah, I'm gonna get another one of those. So once I move these drawers here and get another set, it's gonna be like a nice low kind of level. So I'm gonna get like this really nice mirror that I've seen that I really like. And I'm gonna get another print. Oh my God, I literally didn't even say what I was gonna to do to this wall. So for this wall, I'm getting, I literally just showed you it, but I'm getting rid of the, I'm getting rid of everything basically. And I'm just gonna have like some nice, I'm gonna get three prints to go along the wall. So it's like massive prints along the wall that makes sense so yeah i'm gonna get a big print here and like a nice another big mirror here and then 
yeah i mean this wardrobe is literally humongous and like i ideally did want to like move my bed and move the wardrobe but i actually can't move this wardrobe because if i do move it it will fall apart it's actually attached to the wall like we had to attach it to the wall because it's so big and heavy that it literally just kept toppling over which is not safe so yeah what what am i trying to say you can't move it so it's quite hard to decide what i'm going to do with my room when like i can't move this or my bed so then on this side because i've moved like these over i'm gonna get it goes quite like far along this wall so i'm gonna get like another little shelf to come out of this wall so that's like a little dressing table and then that's why i'm gonna have like that massive mirror to take over that whole section and so i want to like paint my room like a nice like creamy color i think i mean i do still like the gray but it's just like i don't know i've recently been getting like new little things of um let me show you three of these like little pots from uh primark the other day they were literally like one pound each and i got three of them so i like i've been buying quite a few little like gold things so i can't really like keep my room gray and it would just be nice to have like a nice fresh start with nice fresh paint and yeah so that's the plan and i also have cream carpets so it's like i don't know why i have cream carpets because my mum knew my room was gray so I, I still don't get because the rest of the house yeah is gray carpets it's just my room and my parents room which have beige carpets now it makes sense for her because like their room is beige and navy blue mine is pink and gray so I, I i don't know what the thought process was there but clearly there wasn't much because it just it the, the gray carp like my rug with this carpet it just it doesn't go and i also have a um massive hole in the floor yeah, I literally have this massive hole in the floor from where I um, put my curlers down. But they were meant to be balanced and then they weren't balanced and then that happened. But the story behind that actually is that was not a good week for me when that happened. It was actually like the thing that toppled me over the edge. Basically, that week I've actually um, was in a car crash. <laughs> not a good time in life. But yeah, I was in a car crash. And you know, like when you're having like a bad day and something like just you keep triggering yourself like you stub your toe or like your hoodie will get stuck on the on the door like i was just having that but for like a whole week so like that was the last straw for me i want to get like a massive rug to cover like my whole floor like i want it to even like possibly go underneath my bed which is just a task in itself because it means we're gonna have to move my bed to put the rug underneath and that to me is just too much effort yeah i feel like i've literally been talking for ages but that's like my plan for the room and basically i wanted to show you this today because i'm planning on moving i want to move this today i really don't know why i have a hula hoop i think this is you know the hula hoop where on that went viral on TikTok where it helps you to like lose weight but like realistically i used it once because it hurt and then i just stuck it down the side that's what that is so normally i also have my washing basket here which is why there's like um marks on the floor but my mum's doing the laundry today so that's why that's not there it literally doesn't matter i literally start waffling about random things and i'm sorry but yeah i'm gonna move this here today just because i thought well there's no point me like going to ikea and buying like another that's not gonna say that set of mom drawers for me to then get back and be like actually i don't like it there so i'm gonna move that today i'll show you what that looks like later on i say i'm gonna move it today but i literally can't be bothered you know when you're ill and you're just like i've started to buy quite a few little ornaments but i'm so annoyed the little ornament guy that i ordered like i ordered like a little bear like a gold bear and he's meant to come today but he's not coming tomorrow and i'm really sad about it so i'll see you in the next update of the room change which could be in like three weeks time or it could be later on bye oh my god guys i was literally just moaning about the fact that like i'd ordered so many i ordered like two things from pretty little thing from like the home section and it hadn't arrived it said it was coming tomorrow postman just pulled up so i'll show you my little ornament that i got i feel like i'm probably going to struggle with getting this open nice big box hopefully he's cute hope he's worth it hope he's worth the money oh that noise oh my god 
It's not even. It's even cuter than I thought it was going to be. Guys, look. Tell me why I need this. Tell me why I needed to spend my money on him. Why is he so cute? What can we call him? What can we call him? It's definitely a him. It's definitely a guy. Do you think? I think it's a girl. It's definitely a guy. What should we call him? I have no idea what to call him. I think... Michael? No. I don't know. Do you feel like he's a Michael? Should we ask Snapchat? Should we ask our friends? It's a very important part of life is naming something. problem okay because my bed lifts up yeah my whole childhood life is literally underneath my bed like, like this is why i still have no space in my room because i can't put anything under my bed because it's literally full to the brim so i'm gonna try to declutter mainly stuff that like i don't know where to put or it's like i don't ever use it but you know like i'm just one of those people that's like when i chuck it away i then always need it so i'm like well i'm not gonna throw it away i'm just gonna try find somewhere else to put it it's absolute chaos but I've managed to fill one bin bag with clothes already. So I've had to go back to get some more. And we're, do we're doing well. We're, we're making progress. Back of here is all like, all these boxes have like pictures in, memory stuff, like um, little ornaments that I used to have as a kid. So I'm just going to leave all of like that there. I'm not going to touch any of that. And then all of this now <laughs> needs to be resorted into this area. But look, I just found like all of my old flawless costumes because... I never want to get rid of them. This is my first ever costume with them. So cute. And then also like the flawless blazer. Got my old P top. <laughs> and one thing about me as you'll learn is like I'm such a keeper of like memories and like things like why do I need my old P top? Like I don't. But I feel like I'm still fresh from leaving school. In my mind I am. So like I don't want to get rid of it yet and there's no need to. I'm going to put this like I've got this box. This box. So I'm going to put like all of the costumes and stuff in there. Um, but like I literally have a box downstairs full of all my old um, old costumes from like the last show in there. Like when am I ever going to wear my costumes again? Like I've only ever kept my favourite leotards that I wore as a kid that like will never go old and like they're so nice. And like one day when my kid is a dancer, they will be wearing those leotards. Even if they're not, they will be wearing those leotards. Okay, so I actually think I'm done. Like this is now what the underneath looks like. And then I've moved some bags. Like, I took a whole box out and I put it up there. And then this is all the clothes and everything that I'm getting rid of. I've done so well for myself. I'm really impressed. This drawer is the one that normally has all my bags. And I've just got makeup bags in there because I don't know what to do with them. But, um, so I've moved them all up there into that box. And then I also have a box outside in the Calyx, um, which we have on the landing for my, like, other things. Those two drawers are kind of what I'm losing in storage-wise if I get the other drawers. So the fact that I've managed to already get rid of, like, the bag situation and then the bottom one is, like, my gym stuff, which I need to figure out where I'm going to put that. To take a break to go to town, but I'm thinking maybe I can actually buy, like, the drawers and stuff today in Ikea because I've done what needed to be done. Like, the reasons my mum was saying that I wasn't allowed to buy the, the drawers, I've completely done that now. So there's no reason for me not to get them. It's just... I don't know because I, I still need to paint my I feel like painting my room is like the first step like I can't do anything else before I paint my room we made it I don't know what clock do you reckon I don't know if I should get a black one this blue one's cute it's the wrong kind of colour pink though, isn't it I'm annoyed because they only have the white frames they don't have the gold ones I'm excited to get I was excited to get gold but it's fine we'll stick to the white these thick ones but they work out to be 22 pounds each like they're thicker on here I don't see the point I might as well just spend seven pounds and get thinner you see more of the picture as well I go through the candle section without buying any candles and I'm very impressed with myself my mum didn't make it but it's okay it's my mum Sarah. 
where's aisle six I believe it's over here we're I on a roll guys, they took a fancy to you they were trying they were trying to catch your eye because well, you, you did a double take as you went past i'm obsessed with his mouth thank you struggling with the trolleys but we secured the goods We've got some i can't push it got some crisps and meatballs as well can't come to my queue without getting meatballs um brilliant work from us fits all perfectly i literally just got in from ikea and i left the mirror and everything else downstairs but i wanted to show you the picture frames because i'm gonna put the pictures in them so also firstly i got this little dog from ikea i don't even know when i got it years ago years let's put the pictures in the picture frame firstly i got this one from pretty little thing just a nice little a4 it was actually in didn't need it don't even want it really we only was in ikea for one and a half like an hour and a half which is pretty good going because i already knew what i wanted and the only things i was unsure on was like the rugs and i got a rug today because i need to move my bed when i paint so i need to like so I thought I need to get a rug today because I want to paint during the week because I don't want to have to move my bed twice because it's heavy and it means I have to empty everything out. So I was like, killed two birds with one stone. So I don't really know if I like the rug, but it wasn't like it was cheap. And I just thought, let's just get it because worst case is what I hate it and I have to bring it back. I hate these things. Don't peel it off. ASMR. That was a bit bad. I should put the camera down lower, shouldn't I really, so you can see what I'm doing. Cute. Aries. That's cute. Goes with the vibe of the room. So like I need to say, I didn't really vlog much in Ikea because it was so busy. We went literally at the peak time. We literally went at two o'clock on a Saturday. Very dumb thing to do, but we did it anyway. All right. First one is in. I've not looked at it. Can we see her? It looks really small on the camera, but it's literally humongous. Look at the size of it against me. Look at the size of it. It's huge. Oh, she's so cute. I feel like this looks so professional. Who needs to spend an extra £30 on a frame from Desenio? Like, no offence, Desenio. Like, I'm sure your frames are so nice and they're probably extremely sturdy and, like, just so much nicer, but, like, Six pound for my Kia. Job well done, mate. All the frames are officially in and I'm loving them. So here's another one, Self Love Club. Now this one, kind of cringy, but like kind of here for it. The, the thing is I needed them all, like all the colors to tone in together. And like these three pictures were like genuinely the only pictures I could find where like the colors actually toned in together like perfectly. So we have to sometimes be cringy just to make it work. There's this one. Now I've seen this one literally, I feel like everyone has this print, but once again, it's the only one like this color matches perfectly with the other one. So here's the prints. I really do love them. Like the colors go so well together. I think yeah i'm here for it the one that i wanted was originally gonna go like in the middle like it was like um what's it called what's it called it was like i think it was like a letter and i was gonna put this self-love one like up on the wall here next to the other mirror that i'm getting because i thought that's like the perfect one to put in the middle like next to a mirror when you know you're looking at yourself you gotta give yourself some self-love for now because i've only got three I think this works really well and I might actually just put the letter next to the mirror up there. And these are like the colours that I'm going to try and get for like the rest of my room. So yeah. My room right now. Horrendous. Oh well. You know. See you being cute. Right, morning guys. So I literally just woke up. I'm going to run to being cute now if I still have time. If not... What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go to p and and just pick up samples and then I'm going to send a picture of the one that I like to my mum for her to pick it up later. Hopefully that should work. If not, I'm going to try to go now. But I've only got like, I've only got like half an hour and I still need to have breakfast, still need to make my lunch for work and I need at least 20 minutes to get to work. 
so we'll see if we have to have a big queue but i'm hoping i do because i literally otherwise don't have any other time this week to go with my mum so i'm hoping she's ready to go got about 15 minutes we can do that i'll pay you back yeah Oh, look at all the Christmas. I know, and... Well, I like this one here. Polished pebble. Or maybe white mist, because it's kind of like a white, but... I think the white mist might be the one that my mum brought home. And if I tell her that's the one that I actually like, she'll be like, Meg. We're going for white mist. It's heavy. It's there. Can you pick one up? It's nine pounds. Can I put a blanket? Can you use a newspaper? Okay. Hey guys, so in true video fashion, I'm going to end it here in my car, as always. So, yeah, this video has already gotten quite long. I started to edit it last night and I was like, I'm going to have to do a part two. So, part two will probably involve me just painting, building the drawers probably having a mental breakdown at some point and then a room reveal so yeah i hope you enjoyed me running around like a headless chicken trying to find all the parts that i wanted to build for my room um hopefully you can kind of see what vibe i'm going for and you can kind of get an idea of what it will hopefully look like but um stay tuned for part two and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe and i'll see you next week bye <laughs>